The government has been advised to consider current jobless growth of nearly 20% a crisis level, even as the International Monetary Fund forecasts the country's per capita income will decline steadily after the next eight years. A partner and chief economist at PricewaterhouseCoopers Nigeria, Andrus Nevin, told us today that the government needs to pursue urgent structural transformation across all the key sectors as a basis for rapid growth over fast-paced labor market. Went down in 2015, in 2016, 2017, we came out of recession, but people you know, still below the population growth and well below the uh, labor force growth. You know, 2018, we know this. I, I thought 2019. I was thinking maybe by 2020. Uh, now the IMF is saying 2020 it will go down, 2021 it will go down, 2022 it will go down, 2023 it will go down. So, uh, you know, what kind of society survives? 10 years of uh, declining income. So I think this should be looked at as a crisis. So then you ask, what's the solution to the crisis? Well, uh, one thing we've been saying for a long time is, on this employment issue, it isn't enough for Lagos to create employment, or Lagos and Ogun to create employment. We have to create employment in Sokoto, we have to create employment in Niger, we have to create it in, uh, in Cross River, we have to create it in um, Akwaibom. So the point is, things happen to have to happen at the local level. And the question then is, and lots of people have raised this, is Nigeria structured so the right decisions can be made at the local level? So that you go back to the roads, the infrastructure spend. Can you control from Abuja what's the right road uh, to build in Sokoto? Can you project manage that road being built in Sokoto? Or does that have to be done locally? Again, the power with this technology that can, uh, smaller scale power, you know, can Sokoto figure out itself how to supply power? There are many technologies available. So I think we need to have so many uh, locuses of uh, economic activity across the country to solve this. If Lagos and Ogun just do it, all that's going to happen is we're going to get uh, burgeoning population here, and it's not going to solve the problem for the entire country.